Welcome shredders. Are you wearing out your 12 speed drivetrain on your e-bike super quick? Wearing the cassette out before the chain? I'm gonna show you some tricks on how to make that cassette go super far. With the Brose motor, we have four times human power. So that means four times more wear on the drivetrain. So the bike comes with a 32 chain ring constantly in the little gears in the back. So then I tried a 34, but I was actually able to settle on a 36 because we got the 50 tooth in the back for climbing. So no matter how much I clean, lube, and take care of this drivetrain, it just seems to stretch the chain out like crazy and then consequently burns out the cassette. Like, so my tip to you is to get a 36 front chain ring, buy this park tool chain measurer, pop this on the inner link, check this every two rides or so, and change the chain at 0.25 stretch over 200 miles on this cassette and there's no skipping. Basically, we're changing the rules because e-bikes are so powerful. You'll end up saving a lot of money on cassettes. Even this cheap NX cassette is like over $100. So you can just change your $30 chain. So I have the new chain on the table and I'm putting the chain measure tool in here and it's got less than 0.25 stretch so here's the old chain at 0.25 stretch. It has quite a bit of play in it. If you didn't know, the arrow goes in the direction of the chain. So basically 12 speed, you just cannot win with an e-bike. The chain is just so thin. So I replaced the chain super early. This is the third chain and it skips on the littlest gear. So I'm going to show you some serious hackage to get you back on the trail and save you buying a cassette. I'm going to steal this cog. Oh my God. So here's the cassette. It's a SRAM NX Eagle. Another hack here is to run an HG driver with a DT350 hybrid hub. Doesn't matter what hybrid hub you use, as long as it's hybrid, so it's steel on steel. So I just test rode it with the micro shift cog on the small cog. Everything's A-OK, -okay. nothing's skipping. I had two options. I could have put the old 0.25 chain back on and stretched out the rest of the cassettes or rest of the gears on the cassette, but I replaced one cog and you can find those things all over the internet. I've stuffed Shimano ones in there. So basically, SRAM rules, Shimano sucks. Shimano doesn't suck, they're just super picky. So leave some comments if you have some input on how to save miles and money on your drivetrain. And don't forget, don't forget to check all your bolts before you ride.